Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm excited to announce that the video editing series has begun. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to edit a music video step by step. And this video, of course, is going to be in parts, but you guys are going to definitely enjoy it. So without further ado, I want to announce that I've provided a free download link to some video footages or files that you guys can download and follow along as I edit. All right, so to get access to that, go to my website, vocalmodeltrack.com. Press where it says video editing, link in the description as well, so it's simple. All you need to do is enter your, your name and your email address and you get a free download, it'll be sent to you ASAP. So once you download the, um, the folder or the zip file, you get these videos. So you get the audio track, slow motion, take one, take two, take three, take four, take five. So there's like in total six video files and then uh, you get an audio track as well. So in total the file is 1.24 gigabytes. So I'm gonna just highlight all of that and bring it into DaVinci Resolve. I'm using DaVinci Resolve because it's, I think it's easier to actually get started with DaVinci Resolve. The, uh, the color grading is easier. Once you learn, once you use this as your dominant or your primary editing software, I think it's easy to kind of continue. I mean, editing as a whole is just simple once you kind of um, get the gist of things. It's just learning the program. So without further ado, once you download DaVinci Resolve, also, the reason why I say DaVinci Resolve is because you can get a free download version as well. So once you download DaVinci Resolve, you press File, New, uh, then of course you'll be um, greeted with a start project. So you just create, create a new project. I've already kind of created a project here, so I'm not going to create that. So once you've done that, you're going to be greeted at the screen and then you press, uh, open up the folder, drag everything in, just drag it, drag it into the folder. So I'm um, into the, into the editing software. So now everything's dragged in. So at the bottom, I know, I know you may not be able to see it right now. There's a, um, there's tabs that says media, cut, edit, fusion, color, fairlight, and deliver. We're going to stick within we're going to just gonna mainly use the edit and the color tab for now. And of course, when we're exporting deliver. But if you're new to this software, you're probably thinking, okay, how do I, like, how do we start editing now? So to zoom in, or not to zoom in, to actually create a timeline, that's the first thing we want to do. We want to create a timeline. What we're going to do, we're just going to select one of these footages. Um, we could select one of these and then create a timeline like that. Or we're just going to, we're just going to press right click, create new timeline, or you press control N. Once you create a new timeline, we're going to just set it to, we're going to call this, uh, music video where it says projects use project settings we're going to select that and then we're going to go it says format and then we're just going to check everything we're going to change the timeline we're going to change the frame rate to 20, 25 frames per second because the footage was shot in 20 frames in 25 frames per second uh i believe so um no actually it was 24 let's just keep it 24 for now okay that's fine uh we're going to keep it at 1080 uh, by 1920 by 1080 1080p we're going to press create so once we press create we're going to press the edit tab over here at the bottom, you see it on your screen, All right? Then this comes up, and we're gonna press media. Media pool is where our media is located. All right, we're just gonna drag this over here. All right, so there's two ways before actually we actually start dragging clips and whatnot. Because we have the audio track, if we double click on the audio track, we can play it. Frosty. 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 All right, and we can click the individual clips as well, um, clips, and then play that. Let's drag it along to see if it's, we can just scrub along to see if it's working. And it's all there, okay? So we don't need to check the others because I know it's there. So the first thing we need to do is actually kind of synchronize the clips, you know, synchronize the clips before editing. We could manually synchronize them or we could actually automatically sync them up using the software itself. So we're gonna try to actually go about using both methods. We're gonna synchronize one of the clips and then we're gonna go about uh, manually syncing up the others. So I can show you how to actually synchronize automatically because not all the time you can always, it's not always gonna be possible to actually automatically sync up the clips because um, sometimes if the clip is a bit weird, if it's too low at some parts, the distortion, sometimes there can be, you can encounter problems. So it's always good to learn the manual things, of go the manual way of going about things. So we're gonna select the take one and the audio track one. What we're gonna do is hold control and select both of them whilst holding down control. We're gonna right click now, and where it says uh, auto sync audio, select that and press based on waveform and append tracks. So what essentially it's gonna do is that it's gonna synchronize the audio based on the waveform. So it's gonna take the waveform of the audio track and the waveform of the video track. So you, you need to make sure that the video, like if you're gonna be filming yourself, you need to make sure that the video track itself has uh, an audio, like it, you actually played out the audio, the music at the same time, so that it actually captures the recorded audio. So that way, when it comes to editing, it can synchronize up. And you wanna press based on the wave, waveform and append tracks. Append tracks is that way so that we can actually keep the, we can keep the original audio there. So it's not just replacing the audio on top, okay? So now, so now that we've done that, it's kind of done it. So right now, if we drag in take one, it's gonna, it should um, drag in the audio track as well. So we're gonna bring take one, and drag it into this playlist just like this. So now that we can see 
it's kind of done like there's two files it brought in the audio track and the take one okay i just want to show you the method to begin with because i wanted to show you how to actually synchronize the audio uh when bringing it in then after we're going to do the other ones manually okay so now we're going to bring this and you see we can move around here with the mouse and then we're just going to just bring it to the left so it actually starts at the time code of zero okay now if we play the track and to see if it actually works we're just going to play it i'm going to kind of skip towards here because i know this is where the track starts and then after i'm going to see if it actually matches up if the artist um, is lip syncing correctly I was in PLE, no peace to my name, no love when the gang them dropped me. Baking in the ring with slims, popping it off, he's willing to bust me. It seems like it's working just fine and perfectly. Also, if you notice that if you look at the, like, the, if you just click on it, it selects all of them as a whole. So to deselect, if you wanted to deselect, like, if you wanted to isolate click on a single video clip, all you need to do is press Alt. So press Alt, and then we can just singly, um, single, I don't know if that's not even a word. We can just individually click on each um, clip like that. We also do the same thing for the second one. And then alt like that. Similar to if you used to if you're using Premiere Pro or any other editing software, I guess. But one thing we'd notice we can see the waveform of if I try and increase this to make it big. To make it big, you can just press hold down shift and use your scroll wheel on the mouse to scroll in on the lower part to make the audio um, waveforms big. You can also do the same thing if you're hovering over, if you click this side here, you can make the video file big by holding down shift and using the scroll wheel. Right? One thing we notice, we can see this is the audio track here. This is the official audio track. And we can see this bit here. If we hold Alt and click in here, we can see that the waveform is tiny. Uh, we need to, to, if we wanted to increase that, we need to increase the volume. So what we could do is just as a horizontal line here, we can just increase it like that and then increase the waveform. This is mainly, I mainly do this just to, sync, to so that I can manually sync it up. But in this instance, um, if I was to mute the, the second, the actual official audio, and then play this now. See, it's louder, and you can also just change it from here. So, if I reset it by pressing this button here, it resets to zero, and the waveform kind of adjusts just as if you're using a DAW. So, we're going to increase it. But, really and truly, we're not going to need that track there, we're not going to need that audio file there. So, what we could do is just Alt, um, Alt, and then left click on that track, press Ctrl X, or I just press Ctrl Z right now to return. Oh, you can press right, um, Alt and then press, not delete, okay. Ctrl X, <laughs> I thought it was delete. But yeah, Alt, click, Ctrl X. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna unmute this one and bring this track here to the top. Cause I want that to be the main um, track, audio track. All right, so I'm gonna press Alt and then up on the arrow key, just like that. And then it automatically. I was in Pialine. So now it's just like this is joined together. We can also, if you wanted to unjoin these clips, you can just highlight, press Control, Alt, and L. And then now if you to click without pressing Alt, it should be automatically unjoined. But you can also join it together by pressing Control, Alt, L, or you can just right click and where it says, where is it? Uh, I don't know where it is, but just press Control, Alt, L to join up clips. All right. I think that's kind of the basic um, how to import the tracks there. Uh, we're, we're editing in 1080p. Of course, the video files are in 4K, so you can edit it in 4K as well. I'll show you in the next couple, next type of videos. I'll be showing you guys how to go about using t timeline resolutions and how that works and whatnot. All right. So without further ado, so you see on the right hand side here, we see uh, the editing tools here. We see transform, cropping, composite, speed change, stabilization, lens correction, and whatnot. We see the audio. We can press audio and video. So. If you click on, if something is joined up, we can click on the audio version, turn up the volume of the audio, whatnot, pan, pitch, equalizer, and whatnot. And you can also do the um, same thing, like zoom function, position, we can, if you want to zoom it in, that and whatnot. So press Ctrl Z to, to kind of revert that. What I'm going to do here now is kind of import the other tracks. What I like to do when editing is that uh, I like to import all the tracks at the same time, then go about editing like that. So that's what we're going to do in this first section here. To zoom in on the timeline, you press Alt and... Um, Use your your mouse scroll wheel and then horizontally uh, go up and down whilst pressing Alt. Yeah, and then after it kind of just zooms it, it stretches it or zooms it vert in horizontally. I think that's the word. Like that, you can do like that. Or if you wanted to kind of um, kind of move to the right or left, you can press Control and use your scroll wheel as well. So it kind of does that. Like it moves. It, this, it, it uses this bar here. You can do like that. And um, another thing you can also do is. Um, yeah, I think those are the main things you kind of need to know. And if you press shift, if you're in the upper half, you can shift, shift down to make it smaller. 
and shift down on the shift and use your um, scroll over course so you can make it small like that but i like to kind of see the waveforms just like that all right and then zoom in like this by pressing alt in your scroll all right so i'm just going to kind of zoom it in until it kind of fills up the whole thing like that i'm going to kind of also press here and just drag it down here so i can see more of the of the video here uh, if you click on the video like if you click on this bit here hover over it and use the scroll wheel, you kind of zoom in and zoom out of the video clip i like to kind of have it smaller and uh, it's just the way i like it okay i'm also going to bring this section here and just zoom out there so i can see more of the video footage of the videos clips here all right so the next thing i want to do is import the second uh, round of tracks so i've imported take one so far all right so i'm going to bring take two and then drag it in to the playlist i'm going to drag it in just like this and make sure it just drags in on top all right and then what I'm going to do is bring it to the left, just like this. And uh, I don't know if you notice, you can see the waveform on take two, the audio is tiny. Uh, that's because the, 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 the microphone on the camera itself captured it at a low volume. So we're just going to normalize it. If you're, if you, if you're into, if you knew, if you know about mixing and mastering, you kind of know about, or if you even know about audio, anything about audio, we know we can normalize audio. So we're going to right click on this, press normalize audio levels. And then we're just going to press normalize to zero dB. So it's as loud as it can be. So that we can synchronize it up. So now we can see it's brought in more waveforms. So we're going to mute the official audio track here, so that we can just isolate and listen to the to the to the to the one we just brought in. So let's play it. All right. So now to synchronize it manually, what we're going to do now is find a synchronized point, a sync point. We're just kind of all we need to do is just match it up. So we can do this by just looking at the waveforms. It should be kind of self-explanatory. So what we're going to do is zoom in. Remember, you can press Alt and then uh, highlight in. So we know we can see that by the waveform on the original one here, we can see that's when the kick comes in. So if you just solo that one, so solo it. I was in so we're going to try and see if we can match, find a kick also. So we're going to unsolo that and then mute it. And then just listen to the second one we just brought in and try and match it in. So we're going to listen to that. Let's see if we can, we're going to make it, we can, we can, we can even make it louder by pressing audio and then just increasing the waveform like that but the max is 30 decibels to increase it all right um but we can also increase it in, in with other tools as well so we're going to just listen I was in automatically i know that hey this bit here listen I was in Pialino. I was in that's the kick so what we could do is i'm going to zoom out i'm going to press uh, b is to cut yep or you can just press these tools here you can press this razor tool here or the blades tool you can just press b if you hover any of these over on any of these you can see that it has shortcuts so a is the selection mode it's just to um, the selection mode so press b and it brings up this um, blade tool we're going to cut essentially anything before this kick so that we can make things simple for ourselves we're going to cut there and then i'm going to press a to select this um, tool uh, this um selection tool and then press take two i'm going to zoom out and then press Control x to delete everything on that side all right so now i'm going to zoom in press, press alt and then you know mouse scroll wheel and then move to the side a bit press Control s to save it all the time you always want to be saving your projects and then i'm going to bring in this just kind of move it to the side and kind of try and zoom in and try and match it up there's also a snapping tool like a magnet snapping tool in davinci results so you can also kind of play around with that you can press this magnet tool here uh, to disable or enable the snapping so i'm going to press um I'm gonna press or you can just press n so right now it's disabled because it's grayed out so now we can manually incrementally move the um, files to where we want it to be and then we can just press it again if you want to snap it on the grid so we're just going to kind of just try and match it up as close as possible um yeah i think that's the closest we could have we can actually get based on the the frame rate and the how the audio is matched up we could actually do we can actually change up a, we can change up a bit if we go to the intro here and just cut out a bit of this and then just move it to there and then see if we can synchronize it perfectly or whatnot uh, but i think for now that's the closest we could have got um there's other ways i'll show you guys other ways we can actually get it if we wanted it perfectly on bang on time but based on the time code and um, the frame rates and whatnot this is what we could have uh, achieved so uh let's let's play this I was in Pialino, money. Let's play it with the official track now to see if it syncs up. So we're gonna unmute this. Let's play, zoom out. Oh, not too much, just a bit. 
I was in PLA, no peace to my name, no love for the gang, them drop me. Baking in the ring with slims, popping it off, he's willing to bust me. So I don't know if you can hear that, but it's playing this, um, the, the, uh, the other audio track that we imported and playing the main one. So now we can see it, it syncs up. And this footage here is take two. So we can also uh, enable or disable the footage or the cl any clips that we have there by pressing D. And you see if it's joined up, if it's a joined up clip, it will automatically mute or disable both the tracks. All right, we can press D again to enable the tracks. So I'm gonna press D and, and re-enable and disable to show you that how it's synced up. So right now, this is just the take one, you can see. Which limbs popping it off, he's willing to bust me. I've seen so much, I need so young. Don't question the crit, just trust me. The money, the mold, the web's explosive. Don't get caught, get bust G. The OT goons, we roll with stuff. We step from dead to no common's bluff. The money, the bands, the countless grands and sticks. We're trying to make things rough. Alright, so it seems like it's all synced up, so that's perfect, and that's great. What we could do now is just delete this second take because we don't actually need uh, delete the audio of the second take because we're not going to need it. So we can delete it by hope. Press an alt and then individually selecting it, press control X and then it deletes. And then we can like, bring that this one out like that. Just uh, bring it to the start so that we have mm -hmm. something to work with. I want to bring this down here, press in here and just bring this all down here. So now that uh, we've got at least two video files that we can start editing with, I'm going to go ahead and import all the other tracks. But um, this, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just import all the other tracks. I'm going to kind of do it fast so you guys can see the way I actually go about doing it. But it's not as hard as, at all. It's just kind of quick. So now we can, um, yeah, let me go about doing that. So I'm going to bring in take three. So I'm just going to kind of do it quickly. So if you're if you're uh, unsure, just kind of rewind and watch other videos. I'm going to normalize this clip again. This is just a fast way of synchronizing it as well. Not a fast way, but I'm just speeding up my process of synchronizing. All right, it's normalized it. I'm going to bring it to the start and then listen to it. I can kind of just see by the waveforms. I don't really need to uh, be, uh, you know, listen to all the time. I can just kind of see. I'm gonna kind of bring this up as well. Let's listen to that. I was in Pialino. And you can kind of hear, okay, it kind of works out. And then bring it onto the beat like that. And then I'm gonna see, of course, match, see, listen to, watch the video to see if it actually matches up as well. I was in Pialino, please do my name, no love when the gang them drop me. And it matches up, so I'm gonna delete this audio take as well. And now I have this audio take three. So I have take one, take two, and take three, just like that. And then I've got one well, many takes. I've got two more takes to add, right? So I'm going to kind of bring this down so I can actually bring in more and see more on the on the playlist or timeline. So I'm going to bring in take four. Um, you also notice that there's a slow motion clip. If I double click that and then play that, with slow motion clips, you don't need to actually synchronize it up. At, you don't really need to because it's slow motion, so it's not actually going to be synced up at all because it's I shot this at slow motion at what? 50 frames or 60 frames or half the frame rate of the thing so it's I think that's what it is not half the frame rate. I shot it at 50 frames and it slowed down to look like it's at 24 frames or whatever it was I shot it I think I'll give specifics uh, in nearby videos but anyway so we're going to bring in take three no take four and take five now do the same thing instead of right clicking and pressing normalize we can just actually click on it and then break the horizontal line just bring it max and then I'm going to bring this press an alt and then bring that up press alt individually and bring this up so that it doesn't actually clash when I actually bring it to the left so i'm going to do this like this and i can kind of see yep this is where it's going to be just like that simple I was in Pialino. done delete the audio file keep the one on top okay i just got one more to do uh bring and take five and uh just bring it up like this yep and then bring it to the top first oh. and then let's cut out the beginning because I want to be able to shift it out a bit more because sometimes when you recorded it um, the audio file wasn't playing right as soon as you started recording the video or when you when you record the video not all the time so I'm going to sync that up and uh, just play I was in PLA no peace to my name no love when the gang them drop me baking in the ring with slims popping it off these women feelings are bust me I've seen so much I need so young don't question alright and delete that file there and then there we have it we have everything synced up and you, I showed you how we went about syncing up, automatically syncing up one of the audio files, and then how we went about syncing up the rest of the files here. So now the next step would to be cutting up the footage and then going about getting a pre-edit in a sense. Like when you edit something, you want to go about like a pre-edit or something, or just going cut, cutting up the the footage or whatnot of what you need to do. So if we play out the track now, if we uh, we can press this to disable the video track as well. It's like um, 
Yeah, we can dis disable this. Since the countless grants and sticks we're trying to make things rough. In a book with dirty stuff, we get this crack in a pop it off. All teasing about with stuff, crack it, bang the Kalashnikov. In a block with tins or tea, ride this beat, I'm riding for chopper. In a block with brought down jeans, NSG, I ran out of options. Okay, so if you've watched the video um, clips and whatnot, you've, you've also realised, or you, I'm hoping that you realise that there's the video clips, each take has different movements and different type of shots. And that's the whole point of, of taking, that's why you want to take a lot of shots in the first place. You want to, it kind of adds variety and movement to the to the video edits as well. So that's going to be the end of this first video here. We've kind of synced everything up. And the next video, we're going to actually go about editing and whatnot. Actually, let's quickly bring in this slow motion clip here. I'm just going to... We're just gonna bring it in but what, what we'll bring in because we don't need the audio clip we can just press hold down alt twice dragging it in and we'll just bring in the video clip itself and you see there's no um, audio clip at the bottom so we can just bring it here we don't really necessarily need to bring in put the um, slow motion clip in the on the top here so what we're gonna do with the slow motion chip, clip when we're actually editing it we're gonna just bring in certain clips certain bits that we like and bring it in and showing you guys like that but this is the end of this se first segment of this and then we're going to go in the next type of videos, we're going to be going over color grading, how to actually even achieve a basic edit and how to do some cool effects eventually. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Also remember to also download, you can download these free video clips, uh, go to my website, vocalmultitrack.com and then enter your details quickly, your email address and you get sent a link to actually download it and you get this folder and then you guys can edit along with me. So. Hopefully you guys are starting to learn something new, even if you're not learning, even if you don't do video editing as a as a thing. But I think it's one of those it's one of those skills that are required are going to be it's going to be required in the near future. You know to see the way we're moving in as 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 a as a as as a as a globe. <laughs> that didn't make any sense. But um, as humans, we're just improving a lot of things. So I think it's one of those skills that you'll see that it's it'll it'll, it'll, be, it'll be beneficial for you to learn this skill just as you've learned to mix and master and all these other things. So without further ado, I'll be in the, I'll be see you guys in the next video. So like, comment, subscribe. Peace.